This is Valerie Bertinelli, and you're listening to Beyond the Plate with Cappy. Hey, everyone, this is Cappy, and you're listening to Just the Plate, a production of Beyond the Plate. Just the Plate is a short segment where chefs describe a dish or a recipe that is meaningful to them. Now, as you know, these Beyond the Plate seasons are usually chef-driven. So now we have a celeb season. Some of these recipes may be from a book, some may be from a restaurant the guests may be involved in, and some may be a recipe that they cook at home. You're just going to have to wait to find out. I've actually cooked most of these dishes from our Just a Plate episodes, and there are many listeners that have too, so let us know what you think by chatting with us on the interweb. So, last week you heard from Valerie Bertinelli. She's a Golden Globe award-winning actress and best-selling author, has multiple Food Network shows, authored best-selling books, including Valerie's Home Cooking, which was number one on Amazon for celebrity cookbooks. And we don't talk about it in this episode, but please check out last week's episode because we talk a lot about giving back and boy, is she passionate. But for now, Val is going to walk you through her zucchini rollatini. I'm actually going to get down with this recipe really soon. She's only made it a few times, but it's becoming one of her favorite dishes, as she said. And she was actually making it the night that I spoke to her for her husband. While all these Just a Plate episodes are not exact recipes per se, use them as a guide and play around in your kitchen and experiment and, and have fun. Cooking should be fun. I'll stop talking. This is Just a Plate. I thought it'd be really fun to share my zucchini rollatini because I've only made it a few times and it's quickly becoming one of my favorite dishes because I'm trying to, when I'm not working, eat a bit more low carb keto, if you will, or just try to stay away from as many carbs as possible. But having said that, I don't want to eat a lot of processed meats either. So this is, um, and, um, mascarpone and ricotta. I'm sorry, not mascarpone, ricotta and mozzarella. So basically you take two zucchinis and get your mandolin out, slice very slowly and very thinly, and just be careful not to rip off your pinky like I've done. And then you get those boiling just to blanch them down and soften them up a little bit. And while they're softening up and blanching, you put together some fresh basil, some fresh oregano, some lemon zest, ricotta, mozzarella, and some salt. You can even put pepper in there. I might put some pepper and chili flakes in tonight because Tom likes his stuff a little more spicy. And then you take a whisk up a lar- uh, an egg, but don't use the whole egg because you don't want to get too eggy. And just take a half the egg or a tablespoon or, or more of the egg and put it in that mixture just to bind it together. And then once your zucchinis are soft enough, take them out and start rolling them up with the mixture on, on the one end and then roll it out. And then in the pan that you've blanched your zucchini in, empty the water out and put a little bit of tomato sauce in there. And if you don't want to make tomato sauce, don't do it. Just grab a jar, grab your favorite jar. This is a super easy weeknight meal. And just cover the bottom of the pan. Make sure it's a pan that can also go in the oven. So it's a great one dish, one pot meal. You don't have to dirty a lot of stuff with doing this. And then as you've rolled them all up, lay them into the tomato sauce, pour a little bit more tomato sauce over them, and then put the rest of the mozzarella cheese over it, maybe with some Parmesan, whatever cheese you like, and then stick it into the oven, I guess maybe about, I think 400 for about 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how hot your oven is, how, you know, everyone's oven is different, God knows, and till the top gets kind of brown and bubbly, and then serve, eat, manja, have fun. Awesome. Perfect. Cool. Cool. Thank you so much again for your time. I appreciate it. Thanks. Well, maybe I'll see you in New York next time I'm there. Awesome. Oh, no, you're in Chicago, aren't I'm based you? In Ch- yeah, I'm in New York plenty, though, so we may see okay. each other there. Okay, cool. Well, it was very nice to talk to you. Likewise. Have a good night. Thank you. Okay. All right, you too. Okay, bye. bye. Find more on Valerie Bertinelli by Googling Valerie Bertinelli. I'm kidding. At ValerieBertinelli.com. This episode was produced by myself, along with Ian Cohen and Joel Eaton. Find me and keep up to date with this podcast across all social media platforms at OnCappiesPlate or go to BeyondThePlatePodcast.com. Beyond the Plate is on Twitter at BT Plate Podcast and Facebook. Please rate, review, and subscribe to this podcast on your listening site of choice. Thank you for listening to Just the Plate, a production of Beyond the Plate. I'm Cappy.